Hey everyone, it's Paula here with Grey Matters Blog, and I'm super stoked to be bringing you this new segment that I'm calling Something Different Sundays. So you know on Grey Matters Blog, we usually talk about a lot of different things, but almost all of them are planner related. So I give you guys reviews about supporting local businesses, and I talk about pens and pencils, and I also talk about a bunch of journals. But on Sundays, at least once a month, I wanted to bring you guys something different, which is why I decided to create this segment. So on these segments, on these episodes, I hope to be talking about things that I use in my daily life that make things more exciting for me. So it could be anything from unstationary objects like makeup to things that are related to stationary but are not necessarily related to journaling. So that's what I have for you today. I am super excited to be sharing with you my letter writing kit. So let's start off with this cute little A5 insert. Um, It is a graph traveler's notebook A5 insert and I use it as my correspondence ledger. So basically for those of you who don't know, In addition to bullet journaling, I love, love, love receiving snail mail, and I also love writing letters. So I have a couple of pen pals that I write to on and off throughout the year, and this is the way I keep track of them through my correspondence ledger. So when I open the page to you, there's a little quotation that says, to send a letter is a good way to go somewhere without moving anything but your heart. And I truly believe that writing these letters and receiving letters from my friends all over the world is a way for me to be with them without really physically being there, which to me is just a great way to experience the world. It's definitely different, but it's also equally fantastic. So when you turn the page, you can see that I have these um, little tables set up. Basically, I split each page into two columns. One column says received, the other column says sent. And I do that for every page, received and then sent. So what happens is that when I send a letter to someone, for example, I sent a letter to one of my pen pals in November, and it was a 2017. So I sent a letter to that person. I write that I wrote a letter to that person. Usually sometimes I write what I wrote it with so that I don't repeat pencils or pens. Then, in addition to that, I also sometimes write about what is going on in my life at that time, or I put in what were some key points of the discussion that I wrote in the letter some things that I told the person about, just so I know what was in the content of my letter that I sent. When the person sends me something back now or is responsive to my letter, I put it in the received column. So in this received column is the same thing. I put the date, I also put a little bit about who or what was in the letter, and then if it was a postcard or an actual letter. So that's something that I do. Then when I write the person again, I put it in a new entry. So you can see I put another entry in exactly like that. So I have these other pages prepped for use. I love this little notebook. I carry it with me everywhere and it's for me a perfect way to keep track of who I've written to, what I've written about, and what I wrote with. Especially because me and my pen pals and pencil pals all have kind of different thematic relationships with regard to letter writing. So some of us only write to each other in pencil, some of us are paper nerds, so we like to write with different kinds of paper, and also a lot of us just like to write about our lives. So it's a way for me to keep track of what stories I've told and what stories I've heard back, and it's a really fun way to build a friendship with someone, even if you've never met before in your life. So that is my correspondence ledger. Then, going to the writing letters thing, this is my letter writing kit. So. I was having a problem about a couple months ago carting around what I needed to write letters with. So I was thinking, is there a way for me to bring my supplies with me without it being one, too bulky, and two, without being um, too cumbersome? So I decided, and I, when I found this, I was super excited to give it a shot, and I haven't turned away from this system since. So I found this 12 pocket portfolio in A4 size. So A4 is a little bit larger than letter size, but smaller than legal. Um, it's A4 sized, and it has 12 pockets, like I said. So it's a huge portfolio, and I will go through each pocket with you. So this first pocket, it's in the front cover, you can see, this is where I store all the letters that I have yet to respond to. So that's something fun for me to do. So when the letter is responded to finally by me, I pluck it out of here and then I put it in my letter saving box, which I love to do. So you can see I have a couple of in here that I've yet to respond to. Then when you open up my little folder here, you can see that I have an unfinished letter right here. 
So what I like to do, especially with my longer distance pen pals, I love to write kind of like diary style letters where I write a little bit every couple days or every week and then I send them all at one time so that my friend has a really nice long letter to read when she gets home from the day. So that's what I keep in there. Then this next pocket houses a bunch of different kinds of cards, like correspondence cards that I like to use. Then you turn again. In this pocket I have all different kinds of envelopes. I'll move that over so you can see it. So I have different sizes, different colors, you know, just fun things for me to write letters with. I like my stationery to stand out even in the mail. So I've got a couple different things going on there. Then over here I just have a couple different postcards to send to friends that I buy when I'm out and about. These two pockets have letter writing sheets. So I actually printed the lines and dots on these papers themselves because they originally came blank and I wanted to try something different. So these are both Tomoe River A4 size sheets in white. I printed a light gray dot grid on this side and I printed a seven millimeter line on this side. So, so far, I really like the lines paper haven't really tried the dot grid so much, but I'm enjoying the Tomoe River as a whole. It's really great with pen, it's fun to write on with pencil, and it's super light. So especially if you're writing international letters like airmail, it's great because you could fit six sheets or eight sheets of Tomoe River paper into a standard size envelope and it will still cost the same as mailing a standard letter. So that's something that's really cool about this kind of paper. It's perfect for airmail. When you turn the page, you'll see that my initials over here, PB, these are envelope stickers. I use them to close cards. And then on this side, you see a blank page, but actually these are my ret return address labels, which I print off myself using Avery labels from Staples. So that's something I wish I could show you, but unfortunately, privacy does not allow me to do so. Finally, the last couple pockets. In this pocket, I have smaller Rhodia paper. So that's fun. This is about like an A5-ish size. And then in this pocket, I have A5 Tomoe River paper, which I cut myself. So this is just for, these are just for like kind of short notes and letters that I want to write to people or, you know, little letters that I like to do, like to jot down. So for things that are not as long distance, I use little, little papers. And finally, in this last pocket, over here, I've got my Clairefontaine Triomphe correspondence pad. This one is lined. I really like this paper for some reason. I think it's a little thinner than the Rodia. It feels thinner, but it's just as smooth and it's just a as much of a pleasure to write on as the Tomoe River and the Rodia are. So I like this because it kind of comes covered. So if I really need to, I can pop it out of my letter writing kit and stick it in my bag and call it a day if I want to really travel like that day. So that is basically it. These are my lovely letter writing essentials. I'm super happy to have shared this with you guys. If you've liked this segment, please tell me what you liked about it in the comments below and if there's anything interested that you'd like to see. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little brief pocket of my life. And this is Paula with Grey Matters Blog and I'll catch you next time. Bye!